A very good morning to one and all present here. Uh, myself, Ani Sultara, working as assistant professor in the Department of Management Studies, SNS College of Technology. Today, as a part of lecture series, uh, I am going to present a topic on financial markets and services. Like this is the elective paper uh, which comes under the specialization of finance. For example, if you opt uh, uh, specialization finance, we have uh, namely four electives. Like we will be having, we will be studying three. Uh, elective papers in third semester and one elective paper in the uh, fourth semester. So, uh, like uh, as we are, I am going to handle for this subject in third semester uh, for the finance specialization students. Uh, uh, like, uh, let me have a presentation on the this topic. See, like uh, last topic, it is the first, the very first topic about the. Uh, of, uh, about this unit is like first unit is on like commercial banking services uh, so the first topic is about loans see we know what is loan like we are borrowing in need of some money uh, which will be repay, repaid in the specified uh, time and uh, uh, during the time we will pay the interest for the amount which we have uh, borrowed from the uh, principal amount which we have borrowed from the either the banks or uh, any other financial institutions like in the first unit uh, we are going to study the commercial bank services and what are the types of loans and credit facilities offered by the bank the very first topic uh, talks about the personal loan so first of all we have come across the loan and the next it is like types of loan like types of loan uh, like normally we call it as like uh, personal loans and mortgage loans personal loans like for example we can say like a uh, housing loan uh, vehicle or car loan and uh, all other things uh, education loan etc will come under the personal loans whereas the mortgage loan speaks about the business uh, suppose if you are starting a startup or suppose if you are running a existing business and if you need any uh, uh, short, uh, suppose if you are facing any shortage of money on that time we will borrow we will we we will be in need of money right so we will be borrowing from any other financial institutions or banks like there is a, a term called business loan or mortgage loans which is offered to the individuals uh, beyond the period for example like a long term loan uh, normally the loan period will exceed up to 5 years so if it is like a long term loan for example if it is taking to 10 years or 12 years or 15 years so this will will call it as the long term loans see if we look at the picture the uh, like uh, as a student's point of view we can guess the topic see like there is a like uh, a people in the a, a person in the sorry a person in the uh, second picture demonstrates that there is a small house and with the money and the key so and the next picture which uh, tells about the uh, uh, application the loan application so what are the uh, things you have to be filled like your kyc know your client all the details has to be filled so if we look into this picture we can clearly say that uh, this is the topic we are going to see so uh, again the recap uh, we have seen the loans so what is typically a loan uh, we have seen the definition and what is the need for the loan etc so normally uh, there are uh, a broad classification we say like uh, uh, broad classification of loans may be like uh, secured and unsecured loans see like what is a secured loan uh, like if we uh, if the borrower we, we are borrowing from the bank or any institution where the bank we have to submit any collateral like we have to submit any security on behalf of like we are uh, uh, like suppose we are paying the uh, 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 interest in installments over a period of time for example if you are 5 years we have taken a loan uh, at 8.5 interest we will be play, paying the principal plus interest on the certain over the 60 months 5 years uh, for the period of 60 months we will be paying the loan amount uh, that is equated, equated monthly installments that is we call it as EMI so where is the secured loan uh, talks about the collateral unsecured loan which talks about the like we don't expect any collateral or any security from the borrower so the who is borrowing the money we are not expecting any uh, collateral okay where this normally it will happen 
see uh, before uh, we are considering those factors so what are the parameters of personal loans uh, so uh, initially like uh, uh, when we hear a topic like uh, loans uh, so uh, what is the first thing which will come in our mind is is that the what type of loan uh, we need for our what is the purpose to be defined so in order to define the purpose we need to know what is what is the type of loan we are going to take uh, next is prerequisites for the application of loan so what are the things which is required to apply for the loan so if i am eligible simply i am uh, sitting at home and if i am need uh, uh, 5 lakh or 10 lakhs of rupees no that is not the right thing to approach for the loan i should uh, uh, either the my my income or my family income should uh, meet the to meet the uh, uh, e- emi uh, to meet the emi to be paid in the uh, emi to be paid so these are the prerequisites and uh, what is the eligibility see like uh, how much of eligibility like uh, suppose for example i am earning 50k so based on the my income uh the banks will have certain calculations and based on that like for example uh normally in india uh previously like a decade ago we used to save 10 percentage 20 percentage of our income will be saved uh, taken to savings but now it is limited to 2 to 3 percentage so the bank will have a calculation on what amount of savings and what amount of expenses and based on that it will offer you a loan for example if i am uh, asking for a 10 lakh of rupees not, not this uh, same amount will be uh, given but based on our uh, income and other collateral or other security things the amount will be uh, uh, the de- it will be decided with the bank and the uh, other uh, other uh, other Uh, parameters will be discussed and only that amount will be given given as a loan amount so what are the advantages see uh, like if you are taking a loan uh, see even now we have a option for credit cards but like uh, if we go for a credit card uh, we have a higher interest when it is compared to the uh, uh, personal loans on the other hand uh, like uh, sometimes like uh, uh, for example uh, for personal loans there will be no collateral will be needed but uh, it is uh, it, the credit card comes under the unsecured loans which has to be backed by any uh, like a collateral etc so we need to understand a clear understanding about what is a secured and unsecured so what are the uh, disadvantages of secured loan like risk of uh, losing collateral maybe uh, like uh, our security if we uh, um, uh, regret to pay the amount emi or some amount our collateral will be seized and potential for over borrowing we may over borrow to compensate this uh, loan amount so these many factors are there uh, in the disa- like a sec-